We stopped the uh, reassembly last night when it looked like we didn't have uh, wide enough brake shoes. It turns out the uh, brake shoes I had were actually wrong. These are the correct ones. They're made slightly different, obviously, but the uh, mounting holes all look like they'll line up and they appear to be exactly the same size. I'm really glad I just um, stopped when it looked like I had the wrong thing and not uh, and didn't reassemble them wrong, assuming there was some new version of the shoe made. Well, I, there was no harm in double checking, I think. Yeah, you know, I think sometimes that was the right call. stopping, slowing down. Yep. Yeah, slowing just, down and double checking was the right way to do this. Yeah, I agree. Yep. What's next? Some degree of continuing to disassemble and reassemble. All right, let's do it. Beat up. I'm not sure if that's a whole spring or. Might be easier to take this off the back and then take the spring off. Okay. It would be nice if this was separated in left and right, but I guess I'll dig in here and figure out what I need to separate out and hold to the other side. So with my hardware kit for both sides, it looks like they're color coded, which is nice so I can match up all the colors. Put the um, extras for the other side back in the bag and store those with the extra brake shoes if I need to do the other side. I don't think we need to do that right now, but it remains to be seen. When we get this side back together, we can kind of go from there. So I'm gonna take one of each of the extra parts or, or two of each and put them back in the bag, set them aside to make this a little less confusing. It looks like this baby blue spring is what goes on the bar here. Okay, I think this is that one. Some of them are kind of stretched out of shape. I believe this one is the one that goes up here. This one will go on here. It's got some kind of retainer, which was at this end. You're just part swapping out, Andrew? I am basically trying to put together what I can before I have to put it together up high and, and then start tensioning with the springs. Um, it's a bit of a puzzle. 3D puzzle. So I've got one of these and I never found where it came from. So that'll be interesting to figure out. These two springs, these will spring the shoes back against the backer plate. The replacements are different um, heights. My guess is that this one goes on this side because there's more involved and then the taller one goes on the other side because it's just a plain shoe without the um, adjuster. I'm much better with engines than I am with this kind of stuff. Like I understand what each part does better. Yeah, this is sort of complicated to look at. It's a lot of springs that work one, you know, one way or the other, and you just have to make sure everything is lined up correctly. So the way I, my brain works is that I would have had to take one piece off, replace it, take another piece off, replace it, you know, like, I get because that I can't, I can't see it very easily. If I could do that, I would. The problem is you kind of have to strip everything off in order to put it back on to, yep, fresh. to get to the bottom and then build it back up. I should measure, measure that out so I can compare to how far it flies next time. Coffee. Andrew has my cell phone where I've taken pictures propped up on the spring pack so he can visually reassemble things the way we took them off, in theory. In theory. This is the emergency brake cable here mm -hmm. coming in. This arm is what actuates it and it hinges on this pin right here. I've got to put a um, c-clip back on here our e-brake doesn't work do we need to replace it since um, we have it all apart i think our e-brake we don't use it but i'm not sure it doesn't necessarily work because we're worried about it sticking with the stuck brake issue okay. and exacerbating that so that that's sort of two separate questions i think does the e-brake work the mechanic that we paid a lot of money to do our brakes said don't trust the cables until they're redone right and then we had a more urgent constant sticking brake problem versus the e-brake. Well, you already did one side of this and now you gotta do the other. There it is. That's the C-clip in. I didn't have that fly over my shoulder, so that's good. Can you do me a favor? Can you go to the truck and get the um, screwdriver handle with the replaceable bits? So this is definitely gonna be a new record. Um, this little piece of the um, brake shot from over there. I'm amazed I found it in the grass. There's sumac over there, you're allergic. Please come. I'm staying away from the sumac. I've already got poison ivy, don't need sumac. Want to support the Dreamboat Project? Hit that thumbs up. It really helps our channel.
I should help you. Okay, I don't know. That should Where go in there. So if I can get it to go on, it should go. I need you to turn that. Move your hand out of the way. I don't know if I got any turn on it, baby. Nope. It turned, but it wasn't in here. Yeah, should go any further. And then this needs to be compressed onto it. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for us to compress it first? No. There's yeah. nothing small enough to compress something like that without okay. it blowing out sideways. I was thinking a zip tie on the springs to keep them. What do you think of that idea? I don't, I don't know. I've never seen it done. If we were to try and compress this mechanically, because this isn't working, right? Like, Turn it. I can't. I don't have the strength. It didn't go. Mm -hmm. Try a hair more. Okay. Just pull it around, Joy. Okay. All right, that is it. Okay. Go team. <laughs> High five. Just calming down, slowing down. Okay. Again. Using teamwork, we were able to get that together. Shauna's idea to put this clamp here gave us one less thing to hold on to, so that made it easier to get the spring in place. I'm thinking this U, this shape should go around there. Pin behind in there, but I think I need to take it out to start. Do you think it's something big or I don't know. like woodchucks? Because we got woodchucks. We have a couple of woodchucks. It could be them. The lumping. Something about that doesn't seem quite right. Okay, well let's revisit it in just a second. So in double checking my work, I realized I've made a mistake. I had a box with four shoes. I took two shoes out and set them up here. Not realizing there's actually a difference. Um, this one is longer. If I line them up, there's the braking surface goes a little bit more up to the top. And that means this is a rear shoe. And what I've got here is two fronts set up. Um, not for front brakes, but rather for the front, um, of, front side of the vehicle. Short one, long one. I gotta swap this out. I guess this was good practice. <laughs> Fortunately, I hadn't made it very far before I realized my mistake. This will now be the forward shoe. Here's a side-by-side -side just to see if I match up the bottoms. Here's like an inch and a half less braking surface, and that'll be the front one. So you clip this in. This will follow. This worked well before. Try it again. Ow. It's not seated. Oop. We know your time is valuable. Thank you for watching. Okay, got it. Rotate it slightly to seat it in the notch. Teamwork again, see? We figured it out. Yeah. Okay. Now, the blue thing. Hooks through there. Now, this is the sh short yep, pad which goes to top. the front. Just gonna put gloves on for this one. Yep, here. Line the little piston into the slot. There it is. Okay. Little shaft with the spring and the twist clip of the orange spring going this way. We've reattached sprung little cap things, which are aggravating to install. This, and I want to just clean it up a little bit first. Notches in on this side. And then it takes the spring. N nope. Still no. Gloves go. Okay. Want to try the screwdriver trick where you hook it through the hole? The adjuster's not in position, but that's because there's no tension on that spring, I think. <laughs> so close. It's Ten million. You have to pry it this way. What it needs to do is go fully by the wrench. Mm -hmm. So if I can use the screwdriver to get it to go by or what? Can you yank the wrench out? So that I need to turn that out of the wrench. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep, yep. I'm not sure the cheater tool is 
easier? Well, it's easier to get the spring stretched. I scraped all that chunk off. Okay, good. That was probably from condensation. There's a bit of pitting on this. We just need to make sure we don't have active corrosion that could get into the gear oil. It was like this, like, crumbly, goobery, gritty. Oh, uh, yeah. Chunky. Yeah. Okay, good. That's clean. And then we got a little more out of the drum we got to clean off. All the old brake dust. You need to make sure there's no oils in that drum, so you need to yep. carb, um, not carb clean, brake clean it. When I took it off, I wound up with a little bit of oil leaking in it. So I'm gonna hit it with the brake cleaner to get the oil residue out. Otherwise, we'll just have an oiled up brake pad that doesn't do anything. You can feel the gritty, chunky pieces of brake in here. Just finished up spraying pretty aggressively with brake clean to get all the brake dust and small chunks of gritty brake pad that had broken off of. Well, the, oil uh, and the brakes shoe. don't work, so. Yeah, and then we have to make sure there's no. Um, oil from the uh, spindle when you pull it off you get a little bit of oil that comes back in here all that's gone now that's as close as i can get it right there do you need me to help you no i think i can just kind of give a little boost i gotta come up about an inch and a half two inches it shouldn't be terrible okay are we ready tighten those abs buddy It's just the drum spinning on the brake. It's not the axle spinning. Will it go backwards? Yep. Okay. Sorry about the mower, guys. The good news is Dad's feeling better enough to mow, and he's got his ride-on mower. Yeah, that's excellent news. He's getting some, getting some mowing done. All right, so we have the drum slid back on. There's a retention ring. Oh. That one goes first. I've messed up. Wrong order. This one goes on first. Hook tool. I love a hook tool. There's a keyway on this. It slides down. Then the retention ring tightens down against it. Basically, I gotta tighten it, move it a little. Tighten it again, move it a little, tighten it again, just to make sure it's kind of fully hand tight. Still have a little bit of motion back and forth with the drum, so I gotta make sure I'm tight. This is some kind of castle washer. All these teeth are set so that wherever this stops tightening, you'll be able to fold one into the gap to keep it from spinning. It goes into the keyway there. This one will tighten against it. So the idea with this castle washer is that wherever this nut stops spinning, you can bend one of the teeth from the washer behind it forward to lock that in place. So that's, for us, that one right there. And you just do one? Yep. You, only one will line up. It's sort of designed that way. Okay. So wherever it stops, there should be one that will line up. And then again, the washer, the washer's in this keyway, so the washer can't spin. Mm -hmm. The nut spins, then you keep it in place. So I've got the old seal. I've just got to work it free so I can replace it. All right, our new seal and our old seal, they look the same. That's good news. No signs of damage on these splines, which is good news. So we're just going to feed this right back in. So we get to a point where it has to kind of lift up and into the slot in the rear end. And I recall this being hard to do last time takes a wiggle. Now you can feel that it's locked in the splines. This is locked in place, but the drum will spin a little bit to get the holes lined up. Just going around. Go all snug a little bit. I keep, this is the wrong way. This is the wrong tire. I um, can get the inside tire on, but the outside tire fits real tight right here, so I had to let some air out. We'll have to air it back up. We're kind of back together. Back together. All right, I let me get you do. some. I know what I'm gonna do. I wanna slide this one 90 degrees to get to the valve stem in the same place. 
there's a small thing that you have to pay attention to. Right now I've got my valve stem here and the other one beyond it. Now, if you're not paying attention, you can line up the four holes offset 45 degrees rotated, which means you'll block your access to the inside tires valve stem. So that's a very small thing I'm trying to pay attention to as I get this back together. All right, we're getting there. Eight lugs. The hand tight and we'll come back with the wrench and get them really off the dangerous blocks. Yeah, we let's get it on the ground to finish and get the torque wrench. Whoa, look at that. Coming down. Point. Those are from Summit Racing. They're the quiet ones. Oh. Question is, do we have pedal feel? Forward is good. Clear. Just go forward and backward on the flat ground and see if it does. So we're hoping for no signs of locking up here. Pedal okay? Okay. Working right next to the free pile. Please no. Something, something fell inside. 